What is going on guys? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today, we are talking about is if E85 really worth it. This is gonna pertain to mostly Volkswagen and Audis, specifically the MQB, but this also will apply to other Volkswagens like the Mark VI and previous generations. And of course the Mark VIII as well, obviously. I do have a Mark VII GTI six speed manual and this is an MQB two liter turbo. We're currently going to fill up with some E85. I am almost at the halfway mark. I have gone 115 miles since I last filled up and I currently have 180 miles left. So I would say I can get around 300, maybe 340 to a tank, depending on how I drive. The most common question I get asked, especially by my colleagues at work and everybody in the Volkswagen community that has been following the channel is, does E85, doesn't E85 run? Like, don't, don't I burn it quicker? And the answer to that is yes and no. It really depends on how you drive and your driving style. Because honestly, I've been running like 93 octane on most of my cars. And I haven't had like a noticeable difference between 93 in the GTI and 85. Um, I would say the difference would be like 20 miles to a tank. Maybe if I want to be like really hard on it, it'll be a difference of like 50 miles to a tank. But the roads around here, there's not a lot of traffic and I have the ability to kick on cruise control quite often. I use cruise control, I would say like 50 to 70% of my driving, I have the ability to just kick on cruise control. And really like that's how I suck and hyper mile <laughs> like every, every ounce of gas. Um, I do love hyper miling. I get that from the 1.4 liter TSI Jetta that I used to have before this car. And I would hyper mile like crazy, six gear, you know, at the lowest possible, you know, mile per hour, I'd be like six gear going like 39 miles an hour, barely touching like, a thousand RPM, like maybe 1100 RPM, just trying to get as many miles per gallon as possible. But if you guys really wanna be anal, yes, E85 does burn quicker, does burn faster than 93 or 89 or 87. But if you guys are conservative drivers, and you know, most of us that get 85, it's not for the mileage, it's for more power baby, but Honestly, like if you're not racing like all the time and you're easy on the throttle, you always go into the highest gear possible and you use cruise control and you know, the roads around your area, you have the ability to use cruise control and you know, you go basically the speed limit and you're not, you know, heavy footed, then yeah, gas mileage, you're really not gonna notice that difference. Like to me, like 30 to 50 miles a tank is not that big of a deal. That equates to probably like one gallon. So if you're running 85, yes, it's gonna burn a little quicker, but the power gains that you're gonna get, honestly, it doesn't even matter. You're making so much more power on 85. It's definitely worth it. And then look, 93, $4.19 a gallon at this specific gas station, 85, 2.99. Like, I have a difference on a tank of 30 to 50 miles. And the difference here in price, it's a no brainer. Sure, I'm at half a tank and my tank's only 13.2 gallons and I just spent less than $20, but $2.99, $2.99, more power, basically the same gas mileage, and it's a lot cheaper. 93, doesn't make as much power as 85. It's so much more expensive per gallon. And honestly, like 93 is not the same in every gas station. Like if you want like good 93, you gotta go to like Shell or anywhere that sells top tier gasoline. This is required by law. If you sell this, um, you can't, if you don't sell top tier gasoline, you can't display this sticker, it is illegal. Um, and this is actually a big deal. So yes, I would say E85 is definitely worth it. But now a lot of people are gonna argue that, yo, you need a high pressure fuel pump. Yo, you need a low pressure fuel pump yada 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 honestly for most mqb cars you're going to be able to get away with just a high pressure fuel pump to run full e85 on stock turbo like 
that's that's nothing in terms of price. If you're gonna be making more power for, you know, you can upgrade the internals for like a few hundred dollars. If you want to be lazy and get the direct bolt on, you'll spend like, you know, 800 to 1,000, but then you're gonna have all the savings and gas. You're gonna be making so much more power. And hey, I love the smell of the E85. I don't know, it, it might just be me, but the smell of corn, like elote, I think it's I think it's worth it guys. Like you're making all that power. It smells great. Same gas mileage. Sure you had to put a high pressure fuel pump in. I don't know. To me, 100% worth it guys. Now, for the Mark 6 platform, it is uh, kind of more difficult to run E85. Uh, for the most part, most Volkswagens, you're able to run an ethanol content of, you know, 20 30% like E20, E30. Um, basically on stock fueling. Same would apply to the Mark 7s and Mark 8s. Um, I've seen some Mark 8s, like uh, apparently in the Mark 8, you can run full E85 in a Mark 8 with stock fueling on stock turbo. That's that's crazy to me. Gonna go, uh, go ahead and reset the mileage so I can keep track. But for the most part, like minimal, little, like little modifications, little to no modifications, and you're gonna get more power, cheaper gas, and an amazing smell. Come on, guys, it's a no brainer. If you guys have been following the channel, then you know in my previous videos and on Instagram that I had massive issues with my fuel system. I essentially couldn't pump gas into the gas tank because something went wrong, something failed. They assume, and I assume it was a suction jet pump or it was something having to do with pressure or maybe the charcoal canister. Long story short, for whatever reason, I was very fortunate and they warranted the gas tank, the whole gas tank, the fuel lines connecting to the gas tank, the low pressure fuel pump, the in-tank pump, and the suction jet pump, obviously, and I got the new revision for all of them and they basically took care of it for zero cost. Well, time, but it was literally zero dollars. I just had to wait a couple of days, which su it sucked. But hey, now we're here. I just want to clarify that that had nothing to do with E85, nothing to do with my tune or anything like that. Sure, it might have sped up the process of the failure, but in terms of running 85, it, it had nothing to do with it, guys. No issues at all with E85 on that. To summarize, guys, E85 is 100% worth it because you get cheaper gas. It's less per gallon. You get more power stock tune or aftermarket tune of course aftermarket tunes will complement the amount of power you make and you will make more with one of those tunes the smell is amazing your car runs cooler the motor itself runs cooler it cleans the injectors and the valves for the most part in the engine as well it's a no-brainer to run e85 please keep in mind that you may need some modifications to run e85 for the most part you can run e20 or e30 with minimal modifications and you're good to go if you guys did like the video please do me a favor like comment and subscribe catch you peace